All right, so I just finished my revised rankings list where I ranked all 45 of the Dr. Squatch soaps in their catalog. If you haven't seen it already, I'll leave a link on the outro. So recently, Dr. Squatch released a new line of cologne. So far, they have three scents. So I went ahead and bought all three so that I can review them for a video. The three colognes are based off of Wood Barrel Bourbon, Fresh Falls, and Pine Tar. I honestly don't think Pine Tar is going to make a very good cologne. I can see Wood Barrel Bourbon and Fresh Falls, but instead of Pine Tar, I think they should have released Bay Rum as a cologne. I think Bay Rum would make an excellent cologne. So Squatch, maybe that can be your fourth cologne scent. And I also think that Brick of the Dead would make a great cologne. But I'm going to give the Pine Tar Cologne a fair chance. Maybe it will surprise me and be better than I think. With that in mind, I have very high expectations for the Wood Barrel Bourbon Cologne. And I'm not really sure what to think of the Fresh Falls one. It could be really good or it could be disappointing. So we have three colognes to get to. One I have very high expectations for. The other I am neutral. And the other one I have low expectations for. So I'm going to open the box and I'm going to test out one cologne today. Then I'm going to come back tomorrow and test out another one. And then the next day I'm going to test out the third one. And then at the end I'll let you know what I think. I'll compare them. I'll tell you which one smells best. Which one lasts the longest. And in which order I would rank them. Alright, let's get it open. Alright, here they are. We've got the Pine Tar one called Woodland Pine, the Fresh Falls one called Glacial Falls, and the Wood Barrel Bourbon one called Fireside Bourbon. I'm going to go ahead and put these up for now and review them later. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and review Fireside Bourbon. This is the one I'm excited for. I hope this doesn't let me down. Okay, got the plastic off. Got nice durable cardboard. All right, it looks really nice. Let's go ahead and get the bottle out of here. Yeah, this looks high quality. The bottle is nice. This is nice high quality glass. It's not some cheap plastic or anything like that. Go ahead and get the lid off. Lid smells good. That's a good start. There we go. Give it a sniff test. Yes, this smells just like wood barrel bourbon. This is awesome. Mm. All right, I can't wait to spray this. First, I'm going to go ahead and do a little test on my wrist. Well, if I can get it, <laughs> if, I, if I can get the pump to work. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it smells good. Uh, this smells awesome. I hope that it lasts. I'm going to put one more spray on my neck. All right, so it's about 7.30. I'm going to go ahead and see what it smells like as it dries and how long it lasts. So I'll be back tomorrow. All right, so it's the next day, and the Fireside Bourbon does smell really good, but unfortunately, the scent is not very strong. Shortly after you spray it on yourself, it smells more like a powder than a cologne. The scent is good, but unfortunately, it's pretty weak. The scent fades away pretty fast. Even minutes after spraying on my wrist, it smelled more like a powder than a cologne. The scent is really good, but unfortunately, it's just not very strong. I also sprayed a couple sprays on this t-shirt to see if the scent was stronger. So let me go ahead and give this a sniff test. Yeah, it's a little stronger on the t-shirt, but it still smells kind of powdery. It smells more like a powder than a cologne. Maybe it's because it doesn't have the chemicals that the colognes do, but for some reason, the scent just does not linger very long. Kind of like some of their soaps. Yeah, it's a pretty good scent. Like I said, it's just not very strong, but I only sprayed two sprays 
If you sprayed probably three, four, five sprays, then it may last a lot longer on your clothes. But if you have to use four or five sprays on your shirt every time you use it, then this bottle is going to run out really fast. I love the scent. The scent gets an A+. But the strength, unfortunately, it gets a D. I'm not going to give it an F because you can smell it. It's just pretty weak. So if they can keep this scent but strengthen the power, then this cologne will be really good. Alright, so let's go ahead and try the second cologne. Glacial Falls. The packaging is really good. There you go. You see the bottle. It looks just the same except it has a blue label instead of a brown label. Go ahead and give it a sniff test. I don't smell much of a scent on the lid. Yeah, this one, this one smells a bit different than I was expecting. This doesn't really smell like Fresh Falls. The Fireside Bourbon smells just like Wood Barrel Bourbon, so I was expecting for this to smell just like Fresh Falls, but it doesn't. It actually smells different. This actually has a bit of a stronger scent and smells a little more like a cologne. Go ahead and test it out on my wrist. All right. This actually reminds me of Lacoste Red Cologne that I had years ago. It smells sweeter than I was expecting. It actually smells a little, a little like candy. I like it though. It smells really good. The test is to see if it has stronger staying power than the Fireside Bourbon. This smells really good. It doesn't really smell like Fresh Falls at all. All right, I'll run another test on a t-shirt. This is a shirt I wore yesterday. I'll go ahead and spray a couple sprays on here. And then tomorrow, see how strong the scent is. Good spray there. Good spray there. It's two sprays. We'll see how two sprays smells tomorrow. So, so far, I love this Glacial Fall scent. It is a little louder than the Fireside Bourbon. So, hopefully, it lasts a bit longer. So I'm about to pause the video and I'll be back tomorrow with the results. I actually just got an idea. I'm going to go ahead and take this other t-shirt and I'm going to give this one four sprays and then we'll compare the two shirts. Of course, the one with four sprays is going to be louder than the one with two sprays, but let's see if you spray four sprays if it's long lasting. One, two, three, four. All right, so we'll see tomorrow how much staying power it has. All right, it's the next day, and I'm about to test out this woodland pine, but before I get to that, let's check out those shirts that I sprayed with the Glacial Falls yesterday. Here's the shirt I sprayed twice. Yeah, you can smell it pretty well. I think two sprays seems to be an adequate amount. Now here's the shirt with four sprays. Yeah, you can smell it stronger. I'm thinking that four sprays is probably a little too much. So I'm thinking two, maybe three sprays at the most would be the right amount. Yeah, this smells really good on the shirt. And actually, let me go ahead and smell the shirt I sprayed with the Fireside Bourbon two days ago. Yeah, this smells good too. It's not quite as strong as the Glacial Falls from yesterday, but you can definitely still smell it and it smells good. Okay, but unfortunately the cologne I sprayed on my wrist, it faded pretty fast. It just smelled very powdery. The powder scent did linger throughout the day, but it just was not very strong at all. So I would recommend spraying two, maybe three sprays at the most on your shirt instead of spraying your wrist or your neck. Of course, try spraying your skin yourself and see if you get better results. But I know for me, when I sprayed my wrist, the scent faded really quick and just smelled very powdery and weak. All right, so let's go ahead and test out this woodland pine. All right, and as expected, it looks the same as the other two bottles. It just has a green label. Go ahead 
and show you the bottle. It looks good. Go ahead and give it a sniff test. Smell the lid first. Okay, I don't smell much on there. Let's go ahead and smell it. I don't get much of a scent so far. It smells decent though, but it's not very strong. Let me go ahead and spray my wrist. There we go. Hmm. Smells pretty good. It has a hint of pine, but it doesn't smell like identical to the pine tar soap. Yeah, now that the cologne is drying, the scent is starting to fade a bit. Yeah, like the other two bottles, this one smells really good, but the scent is already starting to fade and smell powdery like the others. So yeah, I'm thinking this will be a lot better if it's applied to your clothes rather than your skin. Yeah, this has already faded probably 50% of its scent in like five minutes. So like I said, I definitely think this should be applied to the clothes rather than the skin. The three scents are all really good. It's just that they fade so fast. So it's just better if you spray it on your clothes rather than your skin. But yeah, as far as the scent, this is really good too. I think I'm going to go ahead and spray a couple sprays on a shirt and then I'll see how it smells tomorrow. All right, so I have a t-shirt here. I'm going to go ahead and give this one three sprays and we'll see how that smells tomorrow. All right, one, two, three. All right, so I'll be back tomorrow, let you know how this shirt smells and then I'll rank the three scents and let you know which one I think is best. Actually, before I leave, I just got an idea. I sprayed two sprays of Woodland Pine on this wrist and the scent has already faded. So what I want to do is I want to spray the other wrist four times and see if that increases the strength or not. One, two, three, four. All right, four sprays. If you have four sprays, and it's weak, then you know the cologne is weak. It's 620 right now, so I'm going to come back every 15 to 30 minutes or so and see how the scent smells. It smells good, but even the four sprays is not all that strong. It's definitely not as strong as you would expect. Yeah, so even after a minute, the scent has already faded. The scent itself is really good. It's just that it has hardly any strength. All right, so I'll be back in a bit and let you know how my wrist with four sprays smells. All right, it is now 6.50, 30 minutes after I applied the four sprays to my wrist. Let's go ahead and see how it smells now, 30 minutes later. It really has faded a lot. It is not nearly as strong as you would think four sprays would be. I'll go ahead and smell the other wrist with two sprays. It's not that much weaker than the one with four sprays. Yeah, it's a tad stronger, but not that much. I'd say the scent has faded probably by two thirds to three quarters from the original scent when I first sprayed it. Yeah, it just smells powdery. I'll be back in a bit and see how it smells then. All right, it is now 7.20, one hour after I initially sprayed the four sprays on my wrist. So let's go ahead and see how it smells. It doesn't seem to have faded much over the last 30 minutes. So after an hour, it's really about the same as it was 30 minutes ago. So even though this doesn't smell nearly as strong as you would think it should after four sprays, at least it hasn't faded much within the last 30 minutes. It just smells more like a powder than a cologne. All right, so I'm going to come back in about an hour or so and let you know how it smells then. 
All right, it's 8.20 now, two hours since I last sprayed the four sprays on my wrist. And the scent has seemed to faded a little bit more in the last hour. Yeah, it has a very, very slight fragrance, but at this point, it pretty much just smells like a powder. Like I said, the scent itself is really good, it's just not very powerful. All right, so I'll be back tomorrow and we'll see how the three sprays smell on this shirt. All right, it's the next day. Let's see how that shirt smells now. Got it right here. Yeah, it smells good. The scent is definitely stronger on fabric than it is on skin. Like I said, when you spray it on your skin, it just smells powdery, but when it's on fabric like this, it's a lot stronger and this has just the right strength although it's a lot stronger on fabric than on skin it's still not overpowering so yeah the woodland pine has a nice pine scent it smells a lot different than the pine tar soap though to me and it works really well for a cologne scent so overall i do think the woodland pine smells really good but i do prefer the other two scents but all three are really good. You know what? Let me grab the other shirts and see how they smell now. Here's the shirt with two sprays of Glacial Falls from two days ago. Yeah, the scent has definitely faded, but you can still smell it. And here's the one from two days ago with four sprays of Glacial Falls. Yeah. The scent is stronger on this one, but obviously it has also faded, but you can definitely still smell it. And it's stronger on this one with the four sprays than the one with the two sprays. And now here's the one I sprayed with Fireside Bourbon three days ago. Yeah, the scent has faded a good bit, but you can definitely still smell it. And it does smell good. It's just not as strong as it was when I first sprayed it. So overall, what do I think of these colognes? Fireside Bourbon. Mm, smells awesome. Glacial Falls. This smells awesome too. Woodland Pine. This one smells good but this is going to be my least favorite of the three, but I do like it. So which is my favorite? I'm going to have to say Fireside Bourbon because it just smells so much like Wood Barrel Bourbon. But this Glacial Falls, even though it doesn't smell like Fresh Falls, it still smells great too. So how do I grade these and in what order do I rank them? I would say Fireside Bourbon gets an A+. Glacial Falls gets an A. And Woodland Pine, A-. minus. So I love all three scents, but I would put Fireside Bourbon first, Glacial Falls second, and Woodland Pine third. Of course, that is scent-wise. As far as quality goes, I would say they're all about equal. And on another note, I would say the scent of Glacial Falls is a tad stronger than the other two. Now, as far as strength goes, I would give them all a D. And the reason that I don't give them an F is because you can at least spray them on your shirt and it'll smell good there. It's not as strong as most cologne enthusiasts would like, but at least it's something. At least you can smell it on your shirt. So are these worth the $59 price tag? I don't know. It depends on the person, but I would say probably not. I'd say they're probably worth around 30 for a bottle, maybe 40 at the most. That's just my personal opinion. But the good thing is, is if you are looking for a cologne, then these are a healthier alternative. They shouldn't have the same kinds of chemicals as your typical cologne. It's a little odd to me that Fireside Bourbon smells identical to the Wood Barrel Bourbon Soap, but that Glacial Falls smells way different than Fresh Falls, and Woodland Pine smells way different from Pine Tar. But whatever the reasoning is, I'm glad that Fireside Bourbon does smell just like the Wood Barrel Bourbon Soap, because that's one of my favorite scents in the entire Dr. Squatch catalog, and one of the very best scents that I've ever smelled from any soap company. 
So it's very fitting that the same scent is now a cologne. So props to Squatch for making that happen. And now Sudsy Bear, you need to follow suit and make Smoky Mountain Fog a cologne. Mm. Just like Wood Barrel Bourbon, Smoky Mountain Fog from Sudsy Bear is also another one of my top favorite scents from any soap company. So this would definitely make an awesome cologne. Mm. In this Winterland from Dapper Yankee, you need to make this a cologne as well. So Sudsy Bear, Dapper Yankee, get on the ball. Just like Squatch did with Wood Barrel Bourbon. See, every once in a while, Squatch can do something right. The only issue I have is that I wish it was stronger. But the scent itself, like I said, gets an A+. So would I recommend these colognes? It depends on the person. If you're big on strength, then you'd probably want to pass these up. But if the strength doesn't matter that much to you and you're just looking for an awesome scent, then I do recommend you try them out. It's just a matter of what you're looking for personally. I personally like them, but I do wish they were a little stronger, but I don't want them to be too strong, just a bit stronger than these first versions. And like I said earlier, they should definitely make a Bay Rum cologne. So that's about it for this review. Have you tried these colognes yet? If so, leave a comment and let us know what you think. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.